throw, 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 throw it up. Start twerking like Molly. Oh, yeah. Twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Clash of Clans video. This is your boy, Bliss24 for show, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the newest update that came out for Clash of Clans. We're also going to do some three-star attacks. I just want to apologize to all my Clash of Clans fans out there. Sorry for not doing a video in so long, but as you guys know, I don't know if you guys keep up with the channel, but I've been kind of working with the Pokemon Go um, new game release that has came, came out. I mean, that's what's hot right now. And got to, you know, give the tips and tricks to the people out there. So, got to apologize, guys, for putting you guys on the back burner. But here we go with the Clash of Clans video. First of all, let's talk about the newest update that came out. You guys are probably already familiar with it. But Town Hall 11 gets a boost. Archer Towers now go up to level 14. And now we're gaining level uh, 8 Giants. I have my Giants already going in my lab. I am not going to gym them, unfortunately. I can't do it this time, guys. But maybe in the next video or so, or as soon as they're done, I will show you guys how um, how they operate, how they work, and how we can use some different battle strategies in order to maybe get some three-star attacks at Town Hall 11 level. So let's go to our current war. It's Rage versus uh, a chicken tongue. -tong? I, I don't know. But right now, the score is 26 to 21. We're doing great. Uh, a lot of three stars here on the map, so let's go ahead and take a peek at some of these three stars tags. Let's start with forget about it. Let's give him some love. Let's see what he did here. So we got a pretty maxed out Town Hall 11 base. He's going to come in with six healers. He has some wall breakers that fail epically for, uh, from a spring. He has 24 bowlers, uh, max out heroes, three rage spells, and two jump spells. So let's, let's see exactly how he does this. He's going to start out with his Archer Queen, picking off some of these outer structures. She's taking a lot of damage. Ray spell goes down to keep that queen alive. She's going to move around, start taking out. Here comes the jump spell. She's going to start working on that cannon. He has already created his path. Here comes the golem with the wizard. The wizard is now taken out pretty early. And now he's just going to do a line formation with his bowlers. And here comes the barbarian king along with the warden and two healers behind. And an extra wizard. I don't know where he really came from, but he did come. So he's going to start ray spelling those uh, bowlers right right over um for those infernal towers here come the minions to come to defend they're going to start working on those bowlers the bowlers cannot defend against those minions so they're going to need some help from the warden hopefully the archer queen will pitch in but she's not she's in her own little world but he did recover with a poison spell so that is all taken care of barbarian king has now went down the warden is still at good health trying to take care of the rest of these bowlers let's see what's going on over here the queen has two or three healers looks like maybe supporting her and a few bowlers they're going to take out this section over here it looks like they're doing okay in health they may make it it may not we'll see what happens what goes on with them later the warden's going to take out this tesla the range on these two guys are about equal and it looks like the tesla's going to go down before the warden so it's looking good here skeleton trap has been activated the queen's going to work on these tiny skeletons the little larry's are out of the way and now another giant bomb goes off now the archer queen's going to hopefully start working on this wizard tower which she does Hopefully she directs her attention to these Archer Towers. She picks one off. She still leaves one available. And they're just picking at her. But no need to worry. She still has her Royal Cloak available, which he just activated. And now we at 93, 94%, 95. We got to break through this last wall. Maybe we can get through quickly. We got 22 seconds left on the clock. We still have a bowler down here that's working on these outer structures. He should be able to take out that Dark Elixir Pump by himself we're at 98 percent now queen with along with the help of the water and the archers are going to work on this wall to try to give this boulder some support but it looks like he's got it all on his own he doesn't need it he's going to take out that elixir drill or dark elixir drill for the three star victory way to go forget about it way to do it let's go ahead and take a look at another three star attack by napoleon let's check out the replay Okay, so this is a pretty maxed out Town Hall 10. Again, here we are with the mass bowlers. That seems like to be the thing to do now at Town Hall 10 and 11 types of attacks. He does have level 2 bowlers, but obviously with the 3 star attack, um, it's not, I mean, it's not a big issue. So level 2 bowlers were more than enough in order to 3 star this base. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. He's going to come with two golems with a couple wizards behind and an archer. Here's some random wall breakers that pretty much serve no justice. 
but it's okay. Here comes the Royals. They're coming in. They're working. They're working their way to the frontal tire. The minions and the balloons are working on those bowlers. Hopefully, this enraged queen can take out those balloons in time with the help with the warden, so they don't. So the bowlers don't take too much damage. They're looking good right now. Eternal turn tome is activated to protect those units. They're gonna start working on town hall. Hopefully, these bowlers can take out their frontal tire, which they do. Now they're getting healed by the healers. Looking good, but there's only one in the center. I don't know how much damage he can take, but he's actually taking some pretty significant damage here. We have all three heroes more at the north end of the base taking out these structures. You have some bowlers on the outside that's going to clean out those structures, kind of paving the way to keep those heroes inside. The heroes are going to move there, start making their way down south and moving along with the golem. The golem is still at pretty, actually full health. That's really, really, really great. Fantastic news. That, that golem has full health. He can take some massive damage, protect that queen, because it looks like the Barbarian King may go down here pretty soon. But the Barbarian King's Iron Fist is activated. He takes out that cannon. Now him and the little mini Barbarians are working through this, this wall. They make it through. They're going to take out this Mortar next. Mortar goes down. They're still in pretty good health. Not too much splash damage left. And all we have is a Wizard Tower left to do some splash damage. They're going to take it out. Uh-oh, Giant Bomb. Boom, takes out all those little mini Barbarians. But we still have more than enough units on the field to help support this three-star attack, this three-star victory, which is very imminent. It is in progress. It's coming, and boom, three-star attack by Napoleon. Great job. All right, before we close out this video, guys, we're going to look at one more three-star attack by no other than Thing One. Let's see what he did here. He did a go Vaho. We have a Golem. I'm pretty sure there's a golem in his clan castle. He's going to start off with some earthquake spells. He's going to open up that centerpiece to the base, going ahead and creating that path. Here comes the golem with a couple wizards behind. Another golem from the clan castle along with the max giant looking buffer than ever. Here comes the wall breakers. He successfully uses the wall breakers to open up a path. Here come the heroes working their way. The barbarian king is diverted to the defending archer queen. He's going to start working on it with, along with the help of his archer queen. Dragging the minions, uh-oh, this may be a problem. These minions are gonna put in some serious damage with the help of the dragon. But a heal spell goes down to keep those Valkyries alive, preserve them a little bit longer. This queen is putting in work on this dragon. How long can this dragon last? Dragon goes down, golem moves exactly where he needs to go. He goes right directly to the center of the base. So we have two golems there that are just gonna soak up all that damage. Uh-oh, this looks like spring trap in Giant Bomb City right below this town hall and those wizards look like they're gonna fall for it they're running spring trap there it is here it is we got a wizard working on that town hall town hall is about to go down with the help with the archer queen she takes it down she's gonna start working on this elixir storage can she take it out before the cannon takes her out come on queen you can do it all right she takes down the cannon the barbarian king is still a good health rage spell is still uh, deployed very late in the game and i mean he really didn't even need it but he used it to give him a three-star attack awesome attack i hope you guys enjoyed the video it was great some awesome three-star attacks it's great to see that we're still doing well over here at rage let's just take a look at the record if we can let's see how we're doing in victories so right now we're on a, a eight winning war, uh, war streak looking good we won a total of 197 wars looking good at the trophy level still doing good uh keep it up guys great work and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys drop a comment, tell a friend, and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.